Well, good morning. We are on Kuta Beach. We came back down from Ubud, Bali, which I really enjoy going to. Going up to Ubud is just like a really peaceful sort of getaway. If you're into the arts and you're into food and things like that, I definitely recommend Ubud for that. Kuta Beach is good if you're into surfing, the, the wind and the waves, you know, anything to do with the beach area. I will tell you the area of Kuta is very touristy. So I'm going to show you a place today where I go to get a bite to eat that's out of the way. It's a little quiet. It's not very touristy and the cost of food is fantastic. I'm also going to do a little self care today. I'm going to take you with me to show where I get a nice haircut taken. We're going to talk a bit about how I am actually saving money by being retired and living overseas, which was something that a lot of people didn't understand, even in my own family. They were like, how can you afford to live overseas the way that you do? And what I told them is I'm actually saving money by living overseas the way I am. I'm actually making more money living this lifestyle than if I was working a full-time job back in the States. And 2023 was the proof of that. You see, now I have all the taxes and everything done for 2023. So I can actually look at real numbers. And the numbers show that I made more being retired and living overseas than I would have continuing to work my job if I had stayed in the West. Think about that. That is mind blowing. That changes the entire way that you look at retiring early. It makes sense to retire early, or does it? Are you ready to retire early, or do you need a few more years? Perfectly understandable. We're gonna talk about all that. We got a lot to cover in this video. I'm gonna have a lot of fun talking about it too. We are in Kuta Beach, let's talk, come on. Where on earth would be better than to relax in Kuta Beach, Bali and talk? Before I decided to retire, I was offered a job back in my home state for around $70,000 plus some benefits. And I looked at that and I said, let's take a look and see what I'm really going to take home. And let's look and see what I would make if I decide not to take that job and live overseas. If I had taken that job and I had lived at home, first of all, I'd be looking at $2,600 a month in rent. That's before you even pay food. Food in the States, what are we looking at? Five, $600, should we just say $600 a month? What about automobile? That's another $500 a month, okay? All of these things I was paying for. And on top of that, half of my money went to federal and state taxes. Let's take a look at those numbers of this amazing job opportunity, right? So cut that 70,000 in half and from what's left, let's take out all of those expenses. Take a look at it, it's right here. That's what I would be making if I was back in the States with a full-time job, baby. Okay. Yep, that's living in Hawaii. Every year you are like negative $10,000. Instead, I decided to retire. I decided to invest everything. I sold everything I had. I have no bills. I sold my car, my motorcycle. I rented out my house. I had a storage, gone, sold. Sold all my furniture. I paid every bill off and I invested everything in dividend stocks, bonds, and decided to live overseas. Now, I am making, let's just put it on an average. Let's say that I'm making around $2,000 a month. And let's say maybe a little bit more than that, but whatever's more than that, basically that's gravy on top. That happens sometimes, but anyone that owns a rental knows you make money for 11 months and then on the 12th month, something breaks. <laughs> and then you gotta buy something. So I don't really look at the rental income because I know that it just ends up being a, you know, one of those situations where you gotta go buy a refrigerator or something like that. 
But let's look at $2,000 a month. And what are my living expenses being overseas? Well, I pay around $500 a month housing. I pay about $10 a day for my food. So my food bill is half. I'm not buying clothing. I have no car expense at all. None of that. My cost of living is so low. Coming back down from Ubud, I am at Bali Diva again. I like this place. It has strong Wi-Fi and ice swimming pool. The room is costing me $15 a day. That is incredible. During the high season, you could pay $20 a day, $18 a day, but still, that's cheap. That's cheap living overseas. And you get all utilities included. I love the balcony outside, and the grounds here are lush and beautiful. I do my laundry right in the house and just set it all out to dry. Perfect. You know, I don't have the bills that I used to have. I don't have a car payment. Um, I don't maintain like utilities and all these kind of things. Uh, when you retire, you leave that in the past. You leave that behind. And instead, I have reduced my cost of living significantly. Let's look at healthcare. Um, my healthcare back in the States for myself alone would have been $600 a month. That's not even for good coverage. For my family, that would have been about $1,500 a month. Again, standard coverage, not great coverage at all. But I'm now paying $100 a month healthcare for travel insurance that covers Southeast Asia. And any kind of emergency situation or hospital situation, I have some coverage, you know. Uh, it just makes sense for me to live this lifestyle than to try to go back and play in the job market again. It just doesn't make sense. Let's talk about taxes. You see, in the US, we have a standard deduction. The standard deduction for 2024, I think is gonna be around 14 grand. The income that comes in from my rental is beneath that. So I'm not getting taxed on the money that comes in from my rental. And what about my income that comes in from my dividends? Most of that is tax-free. Dividend stocks, if they're qualified dividends, I'm not getting taxed on it. What about my bonds? What about all of that, my treasuries? All of that is set up to also come in as tax-free income. So I went from losing half of everything I made to taxes to barely paying any at all. Yeah, I am making more money retired than I would have if I stayed and took that job back in the West. Forget it, I'm not doing it. I'm retiring early and I'm taking off, I'm gone. When I looked at what it was gonna cost me to stay back in the States and what it was gonna cost me if I retired, it was to me an absolute no brainer. I had to retire and I had to start living overseas a lower cost lifestyle. And financially it has worked out very well. Not only have I been able to save money again and invest money in my retirement, but I also reduced my cost of living. If I had stayed in the States and taken that job every month, I would have been broke. In fact, I probably would have been in debt every month. Just so you know, it is a little hazy here. There's a volcano that's erupting in Indonesia right now. The bamboo corner is outside of the touristy area. It is a wonderful little restaurant to stop in. The locals like to come here. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, that looks good. Thank you. Bamboo oh. corner. Yum. Thank you. I mean, the price is incredible. And as usual, if it's like a $3 meal like this, I'll order two of them, eat what I can, take back to the room what I can't finish because why not? I mean, this was sweet and sour chicken, absolutely delicious. I will come back here again for this dish. Cha-cha! <laughs> Woo-hoo-hoo!
Thank you so much. Okay, enjoy your food. Thank you. Another fantastic dish. This is a stir-fried pork with vegetables. Oh my goodness, it was so good. The juice, everything. They, they could have brought this to me in a bowl because I wanted to drink all the juice that came with it. <laughs> Men House Barber is where I go to grab a haircut while I'm here in Bali. This place is a nice little shop. It's open during the day. It gets busier at night. A lot of times the tourists are asleep during the day. It costs about $12 to get a haircut here. Uh, they have a variety of other services of anything else that you need done. But I just like it. it it's kind of fun to come in and chat with them and see what's kind of going on in Indonesia and in Bali and upcoming events and things like that. And they do a great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I want to thank you for spending some time with me today. We got a chance to talk about cost of living and how I actually make more being retired early and living overseas than I would have if I had stayed in the States and took a full-time job. That would have ended up making me less money than being retired in living in Southeast Asia. It's a no, it's absolutely a no brainer. There's no way that I would go back and work a job again, forget it. It doesn't make sense. It literally does not make financial sense to do that. Do you wanna learn more about how to live overseas low cost? On my videos, I show you where I go and I show you how much I pay for my cost of living. I'm presenting the information to you to be an inspiration. And I hope that I inspire you to also give early retirement and living overseas a shot. If you want to learn more, like and subscribe to the video and leave some comments. Let me know what you're thinking about this idea of actually making more money in retirement. Why? Because you changed your location. You changed where you lived and that changes everything. All right, I'm gonna go and maybe grab a nice cup of coffee. We'll talk again soon. Aloha. The mad dog Akuta. He was watching me. He saw me enter the alleyway. Gotta be careful there, buddy. Those scooters will get you. Watch out for them. <laughs>